How's it going everyone? It's your boy Kill Bimu at it again with another music reaction. But you can just call me Bimu. Today we're listening to The Great Gig in the Sky by Pink Floyd. Again we're digging deeper into the Pink Floyd rabbit hole and enjoying music that I have missed out on and without your guys' great comments, experiences and whatnot I would not have gotten this far in my journey. So without further ado, let's watch The Great Gig in the Sky Pulse Concert and go. All right, and just like I mentioned earlier, we're watching Pulse Restored and re-edited The Great Gig in the Sky by Pink Floyd. I've been thinking about the other reaction we did uh, to Comfortably Numb and whatnot, and I just love, 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 love watching these Pulse Restored and re-edited uh, versions of this uh of this of their music i love watching the concert that a lot of people have experience with and a lot of people in the comments have been to this concert which is so nuts uh i want to say thank you guys so much for sharing your experiences with me and well let me help you rediscover your favorite music through my first time eyes and ears and let's do it <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Wow, is I, it's, well, one word that really describes the entire experience. What I thought was I was going to experience, uh, David, because the last couple of songs we listened to was, you know, I feel like David Gilmore really took the, uh, the forefront in all of it. This one and what I thought were background sinkers in the, uh, the first video, the Comfortably Numb one, they had more of a role in this concert. I'm so glad that this was recommended to me because I really seen them shine. I really seen, I really seen these ladies shine, man. I don't know. I, Pink Floyd does this thing to me where I feel like I know everything I want to say at the end of the video, and then it just goes out the window. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just know that that was really, really nice. The great gig in the sky. I feel like that was. There's only one word to really. Um, describe that and it's heavenly <laughs> tell me if i'm wrong i don't know um i really so we've only listened to pink floyd and led zeppelin so far i've listened to two or i've reacted to two led zeppelins uh two zeppelin led zeppelin tracks <laughs> and um well i like led zeppelin but i think pink floyd has my heart man I think Pink Floyd has my heart so far, and it seems like their community, their fan base, is huge on YouTube because a lot of uh, a lot of our community now, a lot of our subscribers now, thank you guys, is um, is Pink Floyd uh, fans, and they like seeing other people react to their music. Yeah, I thought David Gilmore had more of like a, a more of a, a centerpiece to this song, but he really seemed like he he did his thing on. I don't even know what instrument that was. I just see him sitting down on what looked like a piano and just going back and forth, man. That's that's how I guess young I am. I don't know, man. I, I oh, sorry, uneducated I am on some uh, instruments and what they can do. Also, something that kind of blows my mind, and we can see right here in the middle of our screen. I'm so used to watching concert footage. And it having phones, lots of them, lots of lights in the crowd, lots of lights, and like the entire show. That's what I'm used to. So it's so weird to me and so mind boggling that when we watch a previous uh, concert that didn't have phones around popping like that, that there's none here, and actually everyone is enjoying the music. Now they enjoy the music now. And uh, and my time of list of my time of performers, they enjoy music now. But a lot of it is like they want to record the videos, they want to take the pictures uh, for memories, mostly for clout. And if you don't know what clout is, is I, I don't know how to describe it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna try to describe it, but it's kind of one of those things. Clout is like. This will make me look cool if I post it on my social media to my friends and family and mutuals. It'll make me look like I'm a higher being than everybody else. That's what a lot of people do when they do these concerts and stuff, man. Um, but it was so, so, all that to say, it is so, so weird to watch these other, uh, these older concerts, these older performances, and not see a single phone in sight. It's really weird. I don't know, man. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video to this point. I really, really, really appreciate when you share a moment in time where you were listening to this song when it first came out. Uh, if you just discovered the music like I am, tell me how it makes you feel. Um, as well as, if you were there during this concert, please, please, please tell me uh, a, uh, an experience you had. Something something a memory something that that's been dear dear in your heart since after this concert um i really love reading those comments and of course make sure to put your recommendation in the comments as well i did not forget we have a lot a lot of lot of lot of people in the comments saying listen to echoes and watch echoes and pompeii i promise you i'm gonna get it there i looked at the footage today it's 30 minutes long <laughs> well I will get to it. I promise I will. I'm super excited to watch it. But for now, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for your time. God bless. Rock on. Adios, amigos.